Hey everybody, this video is all about the best sounding headsets for the new Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Now in this video, we will also cover our top headsets for PC platforms too. Now a headset will not give you the same immersion as a Dolby Atmos home theater with speakers all around the room or even a Dolby Atmos soundbar completely surrounding you with impactful sound effects coming from a good subwoofer in the room. But gaming headsets do offer a lot of other advantages for gamers. For one, they offer private listening when playing your game. And if you are a PC gamer or gaming on any of the next-gen consoles, there are a few essentials a good gaming-grade headset must include. We will cover all of them, and then we will tell you the best headsets we are gaming with right now. So you will not want to choose a headset for your games until you watch this. Now let's get started. All right, first, Let's quickly cover some of the essentials a great gaming headset must include. Number one, a broadcast quality noise canceling microphone that picks up your voice clearly. It's essential, but often overlooked. A great headset will also be designed to fit comfortably with high performance, lightweight materials and a soft headband that distributes the weight on the top of your head evenly so you can game longer. Most of the headsets on this list weigh slightly less than a pound Clamping force is also something to look out for so that the ear cups fit snugly around your head, creating a nice ceiling condition that locks in the sound while also blocking out unwanted sounds from entering into the ear cups. Now, if you want to know everything there is to know about headphones and the different types of headsets that exist, we have a headphones and headsets buyer's guide that breaks down all of the different types. Now, active noise canceling technology is a newer feature we're also seeing on some of the more high-end headsets. This technology eliminates unwanted background noises in your environment so you can stay fully immersed in your game without distractions. Again, that's something unique about headsets you just simply cannot replicate with speakers all around you or from a Dolby Atmos soundbar. Now, one of the most important features serious gamers want to see from their next gaming headset is truly wireless compatibility with their console of choice so that we can control the headset wirelessly right from the Xbox or PS5 controllers. Fortunately, almost all of the wireless gaming headsets on this list offer compatibility with the next-gen consoles. And of course, this audio device list of best gaming headsets would simply not be complete if we didn't select only the most audiophile gaming headsets. So all of these headsets we're about to discuss present accurate immersive sound, specially optimized for high performance gaming. Now, if you choose one of these, you will never miss a detail, like the sound of footsteps coming from behind you. We're gonna start with the best gaming headsets for next gen gaming consoles first, and then we'll quickly cover three of our top headphones and headsets for gaming on PC. We organized our list by price, starting from highest to lowest. So these are the gaming headsets we like the best for the money. All right, up first, we have the Odyssey Penrose Wireless Gaming Headset. Okay, before I begin, this gaming headset is made by one of the premier manufacturers of audiophile grade headphones. If you didn't already know, Odyssey makes some of the best headphones in the world for audiophiles and also music professionals too. Some of their most expensive top of the line audiophile grade headphones sell well over the $3,000 range. And that's because they use a special planner magnetic driver technology that reveals more details hiding in music and to help audio engineers hear and feel more dynamics in the musical presentation. Their headphones also have a level of comfort that has set a world-class standard in terms of materials and craftsmanship. Now at AudioVice, we really like it when high-end tech trickles down into less expensive gear. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons the Odyssey Penrose is able to present so much clarity and detail hiding in video games, whether it's the music soundtrack or more resolute dynamics on sound effects Besides having a pretty long battery life and a detachable broadcast quality microphone, I think the Penrose is the best audiophile grade headphone for gaming if you're really serious about wanting to level up your reaction time. You get Odyssey's high performance 100 millimeter planar magnetic drivers in these, which gets you into an impressive frequency response up to 50 kilohertz. So the details hiding in the music soundtrack and sound effects will be noticeably clearer, especially on the top end. 
The Penrose also has good deep bass extension that will go down to 10 hertz, so you will feel the sound effects with more impact. You also get a low latency wireless connection with lossless sound, and when you pair the Penrose, to your phone over Bluetooth, you'll also be able to talk on the phone simultaneously without interrupting your gameplay, which is a big plus. The microphone is a higher quality mic broadcast quality and it's detachable. So the sound quality of your voice on the other end will make your communications clear. It would have been nice to see active noise canceling tech on this headset, but then again, that's not really the type of user or the kind of thing people go for when they buy Odyssey headphones. It's really about the sound quality and the comfort. The Penrose is the lightest headphone on this list. It only weighs slightly over half a pound. There is memory foam padding on the headband, which is a nice touch. This made gaming sessions last a lot longer before pressure on top of my head became noticeable. You can game for hours with this headset easily. Odyssey makes two models of this headset specific to the console you game on. There is a Penrose for PS5 and a Penrose X for the Xbox Series X. Both models work wirelessly with either Xbox Series X or PS5 controllers over a dual wireless connection. You just use the included USB dongle to connect up your console and transmit a low latency 2.4 gigahertz wireless signal. In our experience, it takes about three hours to charge the headset, and both models give you about 15 hours of gameplay before it needs to charge. The only difference between the two models is the PS5 version will not use Odyssey's 3D sound engine. Otherwise, they offer the exact same performance and features with either next-gen gaming system. It's also the official gaming headset for the Xbox Series X, so I think the Odyssey Penrose is the clear winner, as the best audiophile gaming headset. All right, up next is the JBL Quantum 800. This one features active noise canceling that helps eliminate distractions in your environment. The active noise canceling worked especially well with the adjustable boom microphone that comes with this headset. The ANC is actually specially tuned for video games to cancel out the frequencies that would cause echoes or feedback with the boom mic. And to my ears, it really helped voice communications stand out more clearly and distinctly compared to many other gaming headsets. With the ANC on, I could focus a little better on my games. Now, the Quantum 800 is also very lightweight and comfortable. However, it is slightly heavier than the Penrose. This one weighs just under a pound, which doesn't sound like much because it is very lightweight, but after hours of gaming, those are the little things you do start to notice as the weight presses against pressure points. Having said that, I like the flexible clamping force of the headband on this one. JBL designed the headband pretty well. This one comes with a wireless 2.4 gigahertz dongle that also streams lossless audio quality. And similar to the Penrose, the dongle supports dual wireless capability over Bluetooth, so you can actually pair this with your phone at the same time. The Quantum 800 has a 14 hour battery life, which is one hour less and not quite as good as the Penrose, but for $100 less than the Odyssey Penrose, I think the Quantum 800 offers a lot for the money. As an added bonus, if you game on PC, there's a really cool spatial audio positioning feature that enhances the cinematic soundstage of PC games with realistic surround sound quality, but this only works on PC, and this really makes PC gaming experience sound more realistic and immersive, and the improvements are noticeable. Our only wish is that this also works with next-gen gaming consoles, but if you game on PC, you will definitely appreciate having this as an added bonus. Now, if you don't care about having any of the active noise canceling features when gaming, then JBL has another high performance headset that will save you a little extra money. JBL's Quantum 600 offers a similar performance as the JBL 800, and for $50 less than the JBL Quantum 800, you get the same high quality adjustable boom microphone and similar cinematic performance for high quality audio with video games. You also get the same 14 hour battery life and compatibility with all next gen gaming platforms over the lossless 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle that's included. However, this model omits the dual wireless capability over Bluetooth 5.0, so you do not get the ability to simultaneously connect with your phone or other Bluetooth devices. 
Since this one also lacks some internal hardware for the active noise canceling tech, it weighs a little less than 0.76 pounds or about 12 ounces, which is slightly more than the Penrose. In terms of audio quality though, the JBL Quantum 600 delivered similar fidelity, but not quite the same level of performance as its bigger brother. This gaming headset can present audio with a pretty wide frequency range from 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. Music soundtracks and games sound fantastic. When you compare this one to the JBL Quantum 800's frequency response, which is 20 Hertz to 40 kilohertz, the difference in high frequency content is noticeable. Sounds in the top end are presented clearly, but noticeably not as clear and resolute as the Quantum 800. The differences are even more drastic going back and forth from the Penrose to this one. However, I think the Quantum 600 will sound better than any gaming headset at this price point. Sound effects still have good bottom end weight with punchy impact, but again, the bass extension is not noticeably as deep or as tight compared to the Penrose, but the low end is punchy and musical. I think if you're looking at all the gaming headsets on the market and trying to decide which one to buy, then if you care about having the best audio quality possible, then step things up to the JBL 800 for only $50 more. Or just go out and buy the best gaming headset available and get the Odyssey Penrose. For $150 more, I think the Penrose offers the largest competitive edge. Soundtracks and sound effects are just incredibly detailed and immersive. If you decide the Penrose is the headset for you, then the choice really comes down to getting the right version of this one for the console you own. All right, now if gaming on PC is your thing, then a high performance headset or even an audiophile headphone will add a wider sense of presentation and clear dynamics that really help you gain a competitive edge. If you like the JBL sound, then the Quantum One is gonna be a great headset for the PC to consider. Just like the Quantum 800, the frequency response covers a pretty wide spectrum of music from 20 hertz on the bass to 40 kilohertz for the higher frequencies. So similar to JBL's other Quantum headsets, music will have punchy bass and pretty clear details in the top end extension. It has a pretty cool 360 degree surround sound head tracking feature that will immerse you in spatial audio for a three dimensional sense of presentation. You just choose your sound setting and provide your head diameter and height to adjust the surround sound profile to fit your ears. It's pretty cool. Once you make some adjustments, you can create different user profiles with unique settings and then save them for later. So with this, you can make your own lighting effects with its built-in RGB effects tuner to create different lighting effects and you can adjust the microphone volume level and its sensitivity. Also like the side tone that allows you to control how much of your own voice you can hear in the headset when you're talking into the boom mic. And similar to the Quantum 800, this headset also has JBL's active noise canceling tech which is tuned specifically for gaming with the same echo canceling technology that will make sure your voice is heard loud and clear with the boom mic that is also detachable from the headset. I think what makes this one stand out from most of the gaming headsets for PC is the balance dial that is made especially for Discord game chatting. The dial lets you adjust audio levels on the fly to get the perfect balance on the headset without having to stop playing your video game. And it actually uses separate sound cards to handle the audio coming from the game and the chat audio coming from Discord. This is a very nice touch. Plus, the separate sound cards can be used in the same way with other chat services like TeamSpeak, Skype, and more. And the last thing I'll mention that makes this headset stand out is while it was made specifically for high performance gaming on the PC, I like that JBL also made this one compatible with the Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, even mobile, Mac, and VR consoles are supported. It's also pretty light, weighing just a hair heavier than the Quantum 600 and a few grams lighter than the Quantum 800, which puts it right in the middle between JBL's other Quantum headsets as far as comfort goes. The headband uses premium leather and the ear cups use memory foam and the ear cushions that ventilate well. So this all combines to help gaming sessions last longer. At the $300 price point, this one packs a lot of value. Moving on, if you like having most of the features and technology that the JBL One offers for gaming on PC, but you want even better sound, then strongly consider the Odyssey Mobius. 
This one is a comparable headset for $100 more that will get you into Odyssey's planar magnetic driver technology for a similar level of performance and comfort as the Odyssey Penrose. The Mobius has the same 10 hertz to 50 kilohertz frequency response as the Penrose. And it weighs about the same too. So out of all the PC headsets on this list, the Mobius is the lightest headset for PC. Similar to the Quantum one, you also get a similar 3D emulation surround sound feature that tracks the position of your head for 360 degrees of spatial audio, but this one does not have the noise canceling tech nor the hardware integration with chat services like Discord. Having said that, if you don't really care about having those and your main focus is on the sound quality and comfort, I think the Mobius will be the best option to consider. The ear cushions are made with memory foam. They are fully replaceable. And just like the Penrose, the headband is also supported with memory foam padding. Being the lightest headset on this list for PC, this is a fantastic headset. If you want to know more, we actually have a full written review on the Mobius and the link to that is in the description. Finally, the last one on our list is the most audiophile of all the headsets. This headset is more of a headphone than it is a headset since it has an open back design. Now, open back or closed back refers specifically to the design of the ear cups. In fact, all of the headsets we've discussed up to this point have a closed back design, which essentially means the backs of the ear cups are totally sealed off or closed off to lock sound in and keep sounds from the environment from coming into the headset. But the Odyssey LCD GX is extremely unique to this category since this one offers an open back design. This one is one of the few open back headsets to be made especially for PC gamers. Having an open back design basically means the backs of the ear cups are left completely open for the planar magnetic drivers in this one to interact with the room. Now there are pros and cons to each design, but the headphone enthusiasts here at Audio Advice tend to put their money on headphones with open back designs to deliver the very best soundstage. This design gives the headset wearer a wider sense of presentation that is similar to a really good pair of speakers in the room compared to the more focused, slightly more narrow soundstage of a closed back headset. Now there is certainly a time and a place for a closed back or an open back design and our guide to open back versus closed back headphones covers all of the differences. So be sure to check out the link to it is in the description if you'd like to know more. Now on a product like the Odyssey LCD GX headset for PC games, you get a real sense of openness with sounds floating all around your head and even to the outside something that just isn't possible to the same degree with closed back headphones. The Odyssey LCD GX has a soundstage that comes extremely close to Odyssey's most expensive open back headphones for audiophiles. So if the best sound quality is what you are really shopping for to level up the immersion you feel in the game, then the LCD GX is absolutely the best option to consider for PC games or even music listening and professional applications too. The LCD GX has a spacious soundstage and this made vocals, streamed instruments and rhythm sections in the game soundtrack almost float way outside my head. Compared to the other headsets on this list, the LCD GX weighs the most at just around a pound, but the beefy over the ear ear cushions and the headband evenly distribute that extra weight around my head really well. In fact, the suspension system and the headband and the soft cushions are designs that trickle down from Odyssey's audiophile grade headphones that were designed to help audiophiles and music professionals listen longer, more comfortably. This all trickles down into this headset to extend gaming sessions longer for the PC and this level of comfort usually costs well over $1,000 in Odyssey's top of the line headphone models. So for less than $1,000, the LCD GX open back is a fantastic headset for the PC. All right, now that concludes our comparison on the best gaming headsets for consoles and PC. Whether you're on Team Sony, Microsoft, or if you game on PC, a high performance headset will help you squeeze every last drop of performance from these very powerful gaming systems. Choose any of the headsets on this list and you will experience the best immersion for gaming available. If you have any questions about 
any of these, or how your home audio or home theater can take advantage of more immersive gaming with your console of choice, just give us a call, chat with us on audiovice.com, or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out our playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all the content you're looking for. We'll see you next time.